Here's to you. Oh, I need to log this, don't I? Oh, man. You think I would just hit the ground running? Yeah, all right, we're going, and we're off, and we're off and away in another... No. I don't know what it was. I thought I got enough sleep, but today I've just been on the verge of... All day. Which has really made me super productive. I found this shirt yesterday while I was putting away all my wool shirts for the season. They're still in the playoffs, right? Not for long. Ah, uh, playoffs been kind of wacky, huh? Yeah. Boy, I hate the Clippers. Oof. I've spent more time watching hockey, so I'm not totally up on what's on. What will happen is I'll watch hockey, and then it will end, so I'll watch it inside the NBA because they're entertaining. So maybe I was up later than I thought. I don't know. I went right to sleep. I'll try again later. Anyway, enough of that. Let's do this. It's Tuesday, right? It's May 1st. Happy May Day. Uh, the workers will prevail. It's 5.52, and it's 72 outside, and it's windy, and it's ornery. And about three counties over, there's hail, an inch around. Someone may be exaggerating on Twitter, but it is hailing over there. And if I hurry, I can get home before the weather hits. It's going to be about 50-50. By the time it gets here, it won't be nearly as severe, but it'll still be happening. So Let's uh, find the questions. Yes, let's do that. I should talk about the wrestling last night. I don't know. That whole speech I gave about let's wait and see. And now that I've waited and seen... They just have no clue what they're doing. They don't know what's going on. And I really hope they're not trying to do one of these work shoot, work, work the boys, work. It's important that everybody backstage thinks it's real, even though it isn't. Nobody makes money doing that. They are in this to make money, right? I, I, I used to think they were in this to make money. Well, I don't just, I'm not sure. Not that I could do better. Although, being awful, maybe I could do better. Anywho, let's go back to Monday and Ron's comment on the W. I've been meaning to ask since I saw the semantic shirt on Wednesday, which I'll be wearing tomorrow, by the way. Team photo, for real, this time. And I'll show you what the stains look like after I whisked it. Feel free to ignore them if you don't want to divulge. I don't care. I, I don't think semantic cares either. Uh, if I find out later they do care, this will disappear. What do you do at Semantic? I don't do anything. No. I am a technical writer. And I'm a technical writer for net backup support. So I write product alerts, software alerts, tech alerts. And I also am the editor of every everything that gets added to the knowledge base for net backup. I uh, do a lot of typo fixing, uh, italics, bolds. I make log excerpts. In my, I put them in mono space. I make sure nobody's broken the tables on our uh, KM system by putting the wrong XML in their tech note. So it's a lot of like what I do on the board, except like for real, for a real company where I get a real paycheck. And I've kind of been busy lately with actual real tech alerts. I've been getting away with not having to write them because we haven't had these kind of problems that require them. So it's been a lot of spreadsheet building and on web reports and really boring stuff that I can multitask while they're crunching, but there's been a lot more actual writing lately, which is good. So it seems like lately I haven't been doing much writing, which is bad if you're a technical writer, I would think. If we had a perfect product with no flaws, though, I could just sit around and be on Twitter all day. Right now, it only looks like I'm on Twitter all day. Does everyone there dress so casual? Uh, yeah. I mean, more people wear slacks than shorts. Very attractive. But people dress like this. Remember when I first worked here seven years ago, and you can go back on the W or to the 7 and look, 
I wore a tie every day until I ran out of ties. And I was the only guy in the building wearing a tie. And that probably got more pushback than what I wear now. And nobody cares what I wear now. But the tie? That was weird, man. I could never get away with shorts and a t-shirt at my job. Hey, come over to Semantic. Nah, your job's probably cool. Give us some inside info. If I had any, I would have sold the stock. Semantic only bought VeriSign just because they wanted the logo, right? No, they wanted the certificates. Uh, the logo came with that, though. So the certificates were the ones that were on the... The logo was on the certificates, so when we got the certificates, we also got the logo, which we'd promptly changed from uh, their dark red to our special yellow. And that's why if you ever see me with new semantic stuff on, like tomorrow, you will see that check mark. Actually, I did get some business cards. Making sure you don't get my phone number. Don't want you calling me. Don't call me. So that's all the info I have. Uh, there was some kind of deal where we can't say VeriSign after a while, I think. So we get to keep the check mark, but it will stop saying VeriSign presented by Norton or whatever it says now. It may have already done that. I don't know. I, it, it, Norton is a whole different spiel from where I work, which is former Veritas products. I was hired by Veritas in 05. I know this is fascinating to everybody, but people always assume I know antivirus. I don't know a thing about antivirus. I barely know that backup. I know enough to write documents about it, but if I were actually to go back on tech support, I would probably be in big trouble. So I better keep this gig for a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, Doug's question. Had a few days worth of videos to catch up on, so one comment blends into another. But when you were talking about seeing and recognizing patterns, were you talking about life in general or press your luck? Ha! If I had seen the patterns on press your luck, I would be uh, Richard Lawson. And I am not. But yes, life in general. Uh, that was when I was talking about how we got from me buying Kim a knockoff Timberwolves for her head to us getting on the kiss cam to us getting courtside seats for the coincidental last game of Kim's favorite player, right? Was that that pattern? That kind of stuff, yeah. And I'll occasionally see that on wrestling shows. I'm usually pretty good about pointing them out to you as well. And uh, to the point where you're no longer impressed when I do that, but do what I can. What position do the Timberwolves need to focus on strengthening in the upcoming NBA draft? Good God, all of them. They, they have some okay dudes, but they have no depth. And it's a problem they've had for years. And I don't expect this draft will be any better than the previous drafts because we got the same schmucks around it. So uh, I almost hope they don't draft. I hope they trade those picks for some grooving assets. But I don't know, man. It's going to be tough. We won't know closer to July. So table that discussion and we'll get back to it. The media says NASCAR is boring now because of the lack of yellow flags, meaning no wrecks and less strategy. Do you agree? That's part of it. I agree that the only strategy there seems to be is the pit road strategy at this point. If you're not up front and have clean air, nothing's happening. It doesn't help that the TV partners are just doing a shameless, shoddy job of displaying the product. But you can go to uh, the Daily Planet and read those people say the same things over and over. You don't need me saying it. Having said that, I still watch it well. I don't watch it, but it's on while I do other stuff. Mike asks, what's the strangest word you've come across that isn't in the Firefox dictionary? Mine would be roofs. Is that a word? What is a roof? I'm going to look it up right now. Uh, I don't use their dictionary. I barely use dictionaries at all, except I will use them at work to make sure I have stuff to spell correctly. Roofs. Uh... It's not in the m.w dictionary. It's in their unabridged dictionary, which I did not have access to. Well, that's just awful. Come on, Google, tell me what roofs is. Plural of roof. Wow. you think I would have known that. What's the plural of hoof? Hooves. What's the plural of roof? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. My time is up, but I will close as I have been closing recently because he's on a roll with Otto rapidly running out of room behind you. 
Wall space filled. Nah, not really. There's some. There's still lots of empty wall. And I can always take stuff down and replace it if it comes to that. Wall space filled. Magnet space just a little left on the bottom. Yeah, actually, there's quite a bit. I did some tidying up. This whole area now, we need something there. And then we got all the drawers, so. You had to start stacking things on top of what appears to be Democrat propaganda. Uh, I see what you think. It's this thing, right? That's a copy of eWeek. It's actually almost four years old. It talks about the use of technology in the 08 election, focusing mainly on Ron Paul, which is why I've kept it around, because I'm a Paul guy and not a Democrat and not a Republican. Barely a Republican, not a Republican. I mean, I'm still registered Libertarian, but the state doesn't have any LP activities, so I go to the Republican stuff for the Ron Paul thing. Have you heard, by the way, that Ron Paul is going to have a plurality of delegates from Minnesota when he uh, goes to the convention? You're welcome. The media is not interested in telling you how many states Ron Paul has, but he has enough that he will have to be heard from during the convention. Keep your eye on that story if you can. The media is certainly not going to help you. In that sense, I am the media. But I have to go because I'm coming up on 12 minutes. Thank you. We will continue this discussion tomorrow. Well, I'll keep talking, and hopefully you'll keep listening. And for that, I thank you. Good night.